I must be missing something here. If true that Don Wells and Candace Bly have lawyered up, why aren't these lawyers doing what lawyers do best? Should we now be seeing resolution to the case of missing Summer Wells? Let's break down the facts. Let's face it, people don't just lawyer up unless they have reason to believe that they need legal representation. After all, unless both lawyers are pro bono, or worse, the same lawyer is representing both Don and Candace pro bono, the money to pay the retainer is coming from someone. In the aftermath of the arrest of Trezell and Jacqueline West for the murder of brothers Classic and Sincere Pettis, there has been increased focus on the Wells boys. This bothers me for a few reasons, the first one having to do with rumors. When I read that the West were alleged to have had their other sons murder Little Classic and Sincere, the first thing I did was research the information coming out of the arraignment yesterday. As I predicted, both of the Wests entered pleas of not guilty. Other than that fact, and the fact that the judge ordered them to be held in jail without bond, not one word was mentioned about the West's assigning blame to the other children in the home at the time. Therefore, I find it highly irresponsible for anyone else to give any type of credence to these allegations. They need to keep the focus where it should be, on Trezell and Jacqueline West. Presumption of innocence, my ass. As for the Wells boys, they are in the same unenviable position as the children of Maya Milliette in California, a position they were put into by their parents. While the Milliette children were present in the home at the time when their father murdered their mother, I have never maintained that what happened to Summer Wells was intentional. The Wells boys know what happened to their sister last June because of their mother's negligence. In my opinion, when the rest of the West boys including their two biological sons, were removed from their custody, the issue of reunification was never in the realm of possibility. Therefore, knowing that they wouldn't be sent back to Trezell and Jacqueline, the West boys had a level of comfort which enabled them to tell investigators what happened to Classic and Sincere. Such is not the case with the Wells boys, since if it was, just like Larry Milliette was arrested and will be convicted, Candace Bly would have been arrested. I see where Don B. is drawing parallels between Trezell West and Don Wells when it's Candace Bly, not Don Wells, who was responsible for what happened to Summer. And just like Larry Milliette's oldest child is able to give testimony to keep him in jail for the rest of his life, it's the oldest Wells boy with the strongest testimony needed to send Candace if not Don and even Grandis, to jail as well. If Don Wells and Candace Bly have lawyered up in anticipation of either Summer's remains being discovered or the children being fully forthcoming with the authorities, as I've been saying all along, it's time for Don Wells to make a deal and then lead authorities to where he buried Summer. Don Wells is no Trezell West. West is a cold-blooded, sadistic murderer. Don only did what he did because of the position he was put into by Candace Bly. He needs to step up now and do the right thing, both for himself and all of his children. Now I'd like to hear from you. Do you think that Don and Candace have lawyered up, but only to safeguard their Fifth Amendment right to remain silent and not to try to broker any plea deal before Summer's remains are discovered? Thank you for watching and for clicking on the like and subscribe buttons. See you on the next video, where we'll continue to break down the facts.